Well, that's China for you, trying to win at any cost. So cheating is perhaps par for the course. But what happens when China falls behind, when someone else tries to pull ahead? They can be unpleasant, even racist. Let me show you how. China has launched into a tirade against India, and it's not their first one. In the past, they've called Indian men clowns. More recently, they've mocked the, Indian, the iPhones made in India. They say those phones smell of curry. The latest attack comes from the Global Times. It is in the form of a video. Now, Global Times does not like the fact that Tesla wants to enter the Indian market. Some context here. India is trying to attract global EV makers. Last month, New Delhi announced some concessions for them. Import tax on EVs was sl slashed from 100% to 15%. And Tesla pounced on the opportunity. Its founder, Elon Musk, has planned a trip to India. He has an appointment with India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. This meeting could take place later this month. And they could formally announce Tesla's foray into India. In fact, Tesla executives are already scouting for showroom spaces in Delhi and Mumbai, according to reports. All of this seems to have upset the Global Times. Well, they don't manufacture cars. They make propaganda, so that's what they're doing now, throwing all kinds of dirt at this project. Their video has some unsolicited advice slash warnings for Tesla. It says Tesla won't be able to make cars, quote unquote, efficiently and effectively in India. Plus, India has no supply chains for EVs. There is poor infrastructure, there is corruption, bureaucracy is a problem, the business environment is negative, and so on and so forth. And to underscore these points further, the video features images of chaotic Indian streets, poor roads, and underdeveloped rural areas. So the intention here is quite clear. Portray India as too backward for Tesla's advanced EVs. The Global Times says India is, and I'm quoting, immature and underdeveloped for Tesla and its EVs. In the same breath, they also claim that Tesla would be better served in China. In fact, I have some more quotes for you. So Elon Musk, we have to say very good luck to you. If you attempt to do this in India, I think you're going to need it. China has better infrastructure. China has better supply chains. So China, has already, China already has an extensive spread of charging stations. It goes on and on. A long rant making a short point. China is better. Make Teslas here. Why doesn't the Global Times give this advice to Chinese companies, the ones who want to make their cars in India? Like BYD, a Chinese EV maker, the world's biggest seller of EVs, BYD is launching its cars in India. They entered India two years back. They already have 24 dealerships in India, and they hope to capture 90% of India's EV market. The Global Times should school them first on India's roads and supply chains. Because BYD wants to compete in the same space as Tesla, the high-end premium segment. If India is such a hopeless market, how is BYD expanding at such a rapid pace here? But then again, we're talking about the Global Times. Perhaps they don't understand fact-checking. Tesla's India project is a business decision. It is not a geopolitical move. Tesla sales are down across the world. It faces stiff competition from Chinese players. Just today, Tesla sagged 10% of its workforce. So they're cutting costs. They want to sell more cars. And for that, they will have to enter new markets like India, where there is still room for growth. Tesla cannot rely on China, where EV sales are declining. In January this year, sales were down by 39%, and this trend is expected to continue. Plus, the Chinese economy is in a bad shape, so the big picture there looks gloomy. India offers a sharp contrast with opportunities for growth. The Global Times needs to be in tune with the times. has launched a direct attack from Iranian soil towards the state of Israel. <laughs>